Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a CCNP route and t-shirt quick quiz for you. Today's might not be as quick as I tell you. I think I've been going a little easy on you. So I've got um, kind of a 4-in-1 and a 2-in-1 question all at the same time. So if you can want to see what I'm talking about, and I hope you do, let's get right to it. This question's kind of long, so we're going to leave our Bulldog off there because I hate cutting his ears off. Now, I need you to identify the EIGRP packet type described by each one of these four lines and tell me whether each one of these types is considered reliable or unreliable. And for extra credit, you can tell me the one packet type I left out. I think that one to be pretty easy. But let's get to these descriptions. A, a hello packet that contains no data. B, sent when a router loses a successor and has no feasible successor for that particular route. C, sent in response to B, indicates that a new route to the lost network has been found. And then finally, D are sent to new neighbors to allow the neighbor to build an accurate routing and topology table. And again, you want to name all four of those. Tell me the one I left out because we have five, and then tell me whether each is reliable or unreliable. We're going to go over that ground in about 20 seconds. I want to thank you for your fantastic support of all my Udemy video boot camps. Some free, some paid, all great. Check them all out at udemy.com slash u slash Chris Bryant. And also one more thing there. Thank you for 7,800 subscriptions plus actually uh, to my YouTube channel. I am very, very grateful for that. And thanks for your support because we're here because of that, because of you. So let's get to today's question and check out the answers. As far as the hello packet that contains no data, that's an acknowledgement packet. That's just letting the router know that sent the hello packet originally. Hey, I hear you. Uh, and here you go. Here's your acknowledgement. B, sent when a router loses a successor and has no feasible successor for that particular route. We know this one. It's a query packet because that's where dual comes in with the query when we lose that successor. If there is no feasible successor, the router sends out dual queries to see if a neighbor knows anything about this lost network. Now, hopefully we get C, sent in response to that query packet is a reply packet and that indicates that a new route to the lost network has been found from one of those neighbors. Now D, the packets that are sent to new neighbors to allow that neighbor to build an accurate routing and topology table, that's an update packet. Those are also sent out, of course, when there is a change in the network topology. The one packet type I left out, of course, was named in A, uh, and that is our classic hello packet. Now, as far as reliable and unreliable goes, this is kind of counterintuitive at first because you would think that your first, your most important packet types are your hellos and your acts, right? Because without those, you don't get your adjacency and you don't have to worry about feasible successors as successors because you don't have any adjacency to begin with. You would think those are considered reliable, but they're not. It's actually the opposite. Hellos and acts are considered unreliable, while the other three types, query, reply, and update, are considered reliable. It's good stuff to know for the exam as always. Thanks for taking today's quick quiz. Got a lot more on the way, so be sure to subscribe if you're not already with us here on YouTube. And thanks for making TBA part of your Cisco success story.